As a fan of Colleen Hoover's novels, I was thrilled to watch the adaptation of her beloved book. It ends with us, come to life, especially with the talent Justin Baldoni at the helm. His deep connection to the story, as he shared on CBS Mornings, was palpable. And it was clear that he was moved to tears by the end of the book. Published in 2016, the novel follows Lily Bloom, a young woman who leaves her home in Maine to pursue her dreams in Boston. There she encounters both love and heartbreak facing the repercussions of her past and the choices that define her future. Uh, Baldoni, who acquired the rights to the book in 2019, initially hesitated to take on the role of Ryle uh, due to concerns about his portrayal. However, after receiving support from Colleen Hoover, he decided to embrace the challenge. Uh, together with Christy Hall, uh, they crafted a screenplay uh, that brought the story uh, to the big screen, uh, with Baldoni stepping into the shoes of her. Oh. Uh, Blake Lively, who took on the uh, role of Lily, uh, was also a fan of the book and saw herself in Lily's journey. Uh, her initial encounter uh, with Baldoni, which lasted three hours, led to her being cast as Lily Bloom uh, on Good Morning America. Baldoni shared that he sent her um, a message expressing his belief in her as the perfect fit for the role. Lively's portrayal of Lily was nothing short of spectacular, and her work as an executive producer added another layer to her involvement in the project. Uh, the film which made Jenny Slate, Brandon Sklenner, and Hassan Menaj made an impressive start, grossing $100 million worldwide in its first week, according to THR. However, as the film's earnings grew, so did rumors of a feud between Baldoni and Lively. While neither has addressed the rumors directly, it's clear that they both had different approaches to the promotional tour. Baldoni conducted interviews independently, while Lively often appeared with her co-stars. Uh, despite the rumors, there's no denying the talent and dedication of the cast and crew. Drew Baldoni, who juggled the roles of director, actor, and producer, acknowledged the challenges and admitted to sometimes relinquishing control too readily. Lively, for her part, spoke about the intensity of the film, particularly the arrival of Atlas, which brought with it a mix of conflict, suffering, and chaos. Uh, Brandon Sklenner, who played Ryle's friend and rival, uh, spoke highly of Baldoni's skill as both an actor and director, uh, calling the crew exceptional and the atmosphere on set delightful. Uh, he also praised Lively's versatility, uh, noting her strength as a woman uh, and the film's handling of the sensitive topic of domestic violence has been a point of discussion. In interviews, Baldoni acknowledged the criticism and explained that in today's culture, where sensationalism often reigns, it's easy to see why some might perceive the film as glorifying violence. However, both Baldoni and Lively have been vocal about their commitment to discussing and addressing the issue. Uh, Culling Hoover, the author, uh, expressed her admiration for the film adaptation, noting that while she sees the book and the movie as separate entities, uh, she is proud of the author, filmmaker's work uh, in bringing her story to life. And in the end, It Ends With Us is a compelling cinematic experience that resonates with the themes of love, heartbreak, and the choices that define our lives. It's a testament to the talent and dedication of the cast and crew and a poignant reminder of the power of storytelling to touch our hearts and inspire conversations. With that said, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep exploring the world of stories, but bring us together.